Alrighty guys, so just having another go at, uh, I mean at recording with the mic because previously the my mic volume with respect to the game wasn't too good, it was sort of being overwhelmed by the game, the in-game audio, so I've suggested the in-game audio, hopefully the voice stands out a little bit more, not because I'm narcissistic, mainly because the, the the sort of the commentary or you know person speaking does add value to just watching a video with absolutely you know no commentary at all. Um, yes, people messaging me for my underpriced items because you know sometimes when you're so desperate to sell, you just put just low prices for everything. Anyhow, um, what I usually do is sort of orientate myself to you know, know the full boundaries and the parameters of the map so I can better strategize. So in this case, it looks like it's really crammed. Um, just give me a moment to do things before I formulate my thoughts and think about what to say. Yep, I'm not too good multitasking. Anyway, um, I've got meters. Like, I've got metering, so I'm going to make use of that. I'm a huge fan of stone gaze and ice walls. That's what I've come to realize. Alrighty. Um, usually don't overinvest. Oh, shit. It's only your covers the right side, northeast side. Um, for a moment, I thought um, the portal itself <laughs> was my pump. I clearly have. I'm clearly am mistaken. I'm gonna need to adjust that soon. Yeah, but um, yeah, this one's a really interesting thing. You don't want to invest all too early because you know for a fact that it's gonna branch out to the whole map. You just don't have the option to create towers that early yet until, you know, the mycelium or the roots start to form up we can actually place the towers down. Okay, so it's a T15 map. Um, how it works is that, you know, things really do pick up. I mean, the, the pace is such that it's really gradual, eh? As you can see, easily clearing things. You know, not too chaotic at the moment. That picks up real fast. And all of a sudden, you know, you're dealing with a whole map of monsters. So yeah, everyone's got their own strategies or go-tos in terms of towers. No, that shouldn't have happened. This needs more reinforcing. Uh, boss starts to appear there. Yeah, bottom needs more reinforcing, it shouldn't be happening. I'm gonna call that for reinforcements. Yep, alright, you need attention because you're a boss. Alright, let's clear things in advance. Call out the waves, get the meteor in. Probably gonna start putting a. Uh, Stone gaze, which I really love, you know, it just um, slows him down to a halt completely. It's magnificent. Um, boss needs to die. Coin waves in the southeast corner, northeast, northwest. Easy clear. Alright, bottom needs attention again. Going with the meter spec because I do have rings. Oh, shucks. Uh, I did say it does get really chaotic towards the end. Okay, the bus is going down real easy. This is actually sort of a breeze because I guess all my characters come a really long way, invested at least, you know, possibly up to 20 exalt worth. 
gambling into this. Got really lucky with a spore gut, which sponsored at least half of that, and then just um, accumulating and selling stuff from my previous character. So focused with building, can't do anything else. Just gonna close up real quick so I don't bother about it for a while. My face needs work again. Ah, oh, things aren't dying. It's not good. Let's buy more meters. Things need to die. Lions coming through. Damn. What's going on? I see. I mean, well, eventually everything's cleared out now. Stone gaze needs some work. I might just buy more in powder towers. It's probably what my meters need. Um, people were saying how <laughs> everyone's so focused on the minimap. Truthfully, as you can see, I'm really just playing the minimap. Given just how it works, I think that's just easier to see like who's coming through. And actually, there's too much on the actual screen itself to see, you know, monsters, creeps. That is interesting. Whoa. I've never seen so many T16s drop before. Oh, no, two's not too many, but well, that's still more than usual. Previously had zeros. All these armor chests, you know, very low expectations for anything worthwhile shopping. Blink arrow. Ew. Um. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Oopsie, I'm picking up stuff instead of... Oh, I can't even drop it, it's too much on the ground. Um, this is a really cram map. You know, area all the um, treasures all together. You know what everyone really loves? It's stack decks. The uh, divination treasures. But yeah, they're not really dropping, are they? It's hard to come by. The other one I really like is, you know, obviously all the blight treasures. Because who doesn't like oil? So go got a black and palace and I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, I might just if that's fine. Chuck it if it's useless. Shocking unblock. Whatever. Okay. You know what? Since I'm streaming, I might just open everything and then just come to close, right, to see if anything interesting drops. But again. Low expectations, you know. And you know, instead of watching me pick up stuff, I'm just gonna leave stuff on the floor. Um, let's see, I think that's more or less everything. You can see so much on the map. Too much okay, let's get rid of this. Uh huh. Pick up my T16s, which I actually really love to see on the floor. Boom. Can't even drop it for effect, man. All right. Chain belt. Yeah, that, that's potentially useful. What? Oh, oh man. You know what? I'm just gonna come back later. Alrighty. Um, I think that's more or less it. You know, these guys aren't too exciting. T15 blood map. Nothing special this time round. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.